Hi there, this is Rebecca. Today I'm going to do an exercise that has to do with the glutes, the abs, and the chest. So we're going to start with a ball and a weight. And what you're going to do is you're just going to roll out on the ball so that you're making a bench kind of like with your body. Um, there you go, just like that. And you're going to have just one weight because with one weight, when we do a chest, I'm going to have you do a chest fly on the ball. So first of all, we're already, before we even have the weight, we're using our glutes. So our glutes are tight, our abs are pulled in, so we're using our abs and our glutes already. So then we just take the weight, and why I'm using one is because when I put it away from my body like this to do a chest fly, it twists my body. My abs have to tighten, my glutes, especially on the left side, have to really tighten up. I can barely do it, you can hear me shaking. So I'm gonna pull it up, so we're gonna do one arm at a time. So you're just gonna let it come out, nice and wide, and you don't go straight out like this, you want to bend that elbow so that it's soft. I always liken it to hugging a tree. So you're going to like hug a tree. So there's something in the middle here. So you can like a tree here. So you're just soft elbow and squeeze up. So you're using your chest, you're using your glutes, and you're using your abs. You can do it with both arms too, but one arm at a time really twists that core and makes your abs just work so much harder. And also the glute on the side that the weight is on. So my left side right now. So I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do 12. So I don't know, I've done probably three, four. So my glute, this side on the left side is just so tight, keeping um, my body balanced so that I don't flip over. And just be careful with this. Go with a light weight at first. Um, don't go too heavy and just try, maybe even without a weight first, just to see how that feels to have your arm go far, so far away from your body. So then, now I'm feeling this glute so much, and your abs have to really work hard too to keep your body stable. And then of course, I'm using my chest also. And make sure when you do your chest fly to keep that weight over your chest, not way over your shoulder, not way down by your belly button, just like right straight from your chest. So a nice and soft elbow, and I'm just gonna go out. And now this side, I can feel the chest on the right side, and the glute on the right side, and then my abs all across, because it has to keep that balance. And we're gonna do the same. So you usually wanna do about three sets of like 12 to 15 on each side. And remember, start with a light weight just to make sure that you can get that balance down before you go up and wait. And it doesn't have to be super heavy anyway, but you're using your chest on this one, your abs and your glutes. So I'm gonna do a few more because I held it so much longer on the other side when I was explaining the exercise that my left glute <laughs> is really burning. So I'm going to do a few more. There we go. Let's do one last one. There we go. So great exercise for chest, abs, and glutes. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great night.